everybody pees, you know that. But what does, for instance, the miracle of pregnancy and threatening diseases like diabetes or renal failure have in common? The answer is that they can all be detected using a simple urine test. So how does our bodies produce urine and what can urinalysis tell us about our health? Urine is a body fluid produced by the filtration of blood in the kidneys. Each kidney contains 1 million cells called nephrons in which formation of urine takes place. A nephron is made of a knot of capillaries called glomerulus surrounded by Bowman's capsule and a series of tubules. Blood enters the kidney through the renal artery which branches into smaller vessels until the blood reaches the glomerulus. A healthy glomerulus allows fluid, mostly water, small molecules and waste in the blood to pass through but does not allow the passage of larger molecules like proteins and blood cells which stay in the vessel. The filtrate from the glomerulus enters the capsule and then into the renal tubules where water and solutes like glucose and salts needed for normal body function are reabsorbed from the filtrate into the blood and waste products are secreted from the blood into the urine. The renal tubules drain into the renal calyces which lead to the renal pelvis and the ureter. Urine then flows into the bladder and exits the body through the urethra. Every day the two kidneys together filter 200 liters of fluid to create about one and a half liter of urine. Being an accessible body fluid that can be quickly collected, it is no wonder that laboratory medicine began 6000 years ago with the analysis of human urine. Hindu cultures were aware that some people's urine tasted sweet and that black ants were attracted to it, a characteristic of the disease that we now know as diabetes. In time, the importance of urinary diagnosis became exaggerated as physicians spoke of urine as a divine fluid and required only the presence of urine and not the patient to diagnose disease. At that time, the scientific examination of urine was called uroscopy, but today it is termed as urinalysis. Urine collection and handling are important issues for getting the most accurate results. The sample for urinalysis can be collected at any time of the day, but the first urine of the morning is preferred because it is more concentrated. In order to prevent contamination, after cleaning the genital area, a midstream urine should be collected into a sterile container. The sample should be delivered to a laboratory as soon as possible. In the laboratory, urine can be evaluated by physical appearance, chemical composition and microscopically. Normal urine has a yellow hue due to a pigment called urochrome. Recent diet and medication can change urine color. Drinking more water causes a lighter color and a dark color can be an indicator of dehydration. For instance, medication like methylene blue, if ingested, changes urine color into faint green to a bright blue. Abnormal colors may suggest disease in some cases. Red urine, for example, can be caused by foods like beets or can indicate the presence of blood in urine, which is a sign of disease. Much of normal urine pH variation occurs due to diet. High protein diets result in more acidic urine and vegetarian diets result in more alkaline urine. In some cases, pH variation can be a sign of urinary tract infections. It may sound gross, but urine smell can also tell us something. In diabetics, urine may have a fruity odor due to the presence of ketones and glucose. A strong urine smell can be a sign of dehydration or changes in the urine smell can indicate a urinary tract infection. Normal urine is clear, but its transparency can change and become cloudy in case of infection or foamy if protein concentration in urine is high. Urine-specific gravity varies according to fluid intake and measures kidneys' ability to concentrate or dilute urine. The chemical composition of urine can be easily evaluated using the dipstick test. 
A thin plastic stick with strips of chemical on it is placed in the urine and the chemical strips change color if certain substances are present or if their levels are above normal levels. A dipstick test checks for pH and specific gravity, evidence of urinary tract infection, either nitrites or leukocyte esterase, protein which might indicate a kidney problem, glucose and ketones could be a sign of diabetes and require follow-up testing, bilirubin is an indicator of liver disease, and blood can be a sign of several diseases and requires additional testing. The microscopic exam involves viewing drops of urine under a microscope and if any of the following levels are above average, additional testing are required. Red blood cells show the presence of blood in urine. White blood cells, bacteria, yeast or parasites are all signs of an infection. Casts are tube-shaped proteins that indicate kidney disorder and crystals are formed from chemicals in urine and might be a sign of kidney stones. A urinalysis alone doesn't provide a definite diagnosis, so unusual results require more tests. Also, getting a normal result doesn't guarantee that you are not ill, but still, urinalysis remains an important screening method for several medical conditions.